Hello everyone, my name is Uthris, and welcome back to a new episode of Transport Fever 2. We're gonna hop right into the speed build today, and it's it's gonna be less of a detailing speed build, though there will be some detailing work on this one, but we're gonna start with laying out some of the raw industrial areas and actually putting down some more refinery spots here and there across the map. Um, this is just as a rough layout, things can change over time. So if you guys have any suggestions on where things might make sense, uh, definitely let me know in the comments down below. So the goal of the map is to get every town fully supplied with every finished product. Uh, the mod that I have running right now does require every product to every town. And since we are running extended kind of uh, industrial choices, uh, that means we're gonna have a lot more uh, product moving around in, in a smaller space than normal. Um, so it's gonna be super imperative to get some of this stuff down so I can start kind of laying out towns accordingly. And we might even plop in some temporary towns just as placeholders to see you know, where things are um, and where we might want some towns at the end of the day uh, just to kind of see where they might fit into the environment uh, before we go and fill in all the towns uh, like the in-between areas uh, with like farm fields and countryside kind of builds. Um, because I think that's going to be something I'm going to be planning on doing in this series is try and cram as much uh, detailed space as possible between the different settlements. Um, and each settlement is going to be marked by kind of these factories initially. And uh, we might even have one off of the riverbed up here in the hillside that might uh, produce some finished products using the steel uh, machinery tools and also paper mill uh, is going to be up there and it's going to be an interesting challenge to see what we can come up with to get those items transported so high up into the mountains um, i think that's the most interesting thing about transport fever um, you know unlike say city skylines it's, it's going to be very heavily based around the transportation of goods um, and not so much the, the um, individual details within a city itself. So while I will try and um, add some city details, uh, I am going to rely heavily on the random generation that is kind of kicked off by the game itself to give us um, some sort of city layout, you know? And then I'm just gonna have to adjust it here and there as we go through and get things figured out. I figured each town, city, um, you can't see them, I'm putting up quotation marks with my hands, um, are gonna have probably three refinery type structures to make up its industrial district, um, or at least its main production district. I don't know if I'm gonna call it the industrial district because when, by the time cities kind of grow, the industrial area might end up shifting away from this area. I'm not, I'm not so sure. Um, but each of these are going to have probably some sort of rail connection uh, to drop things off and to move goods to and from. And that rail, the main line of, of actual um, freight, is just going to go basically along the river. There's not going to be much rail, I think, going up into the mountainsides. I kind of described this, I think, earlier in the episodes. I don't want um, a bunch of rail lines everywhere. I kind of want to bring things down via truck and then deposit them with train between towns. Um, like it's a cargo route and everything else is kind of arriving via a ground vehicle. At least that's the plan. Who knows if that ever gets changed, right? Um, so here's some of the detailing I mentioned a bit ago. I do want to add a um, train depot here along the large kind of train yard area and an actual expanded train yard on this main um, section of track. And this is this is kind of the the biggest kind of train yard planned on the map. It's central, it's very much in the middle. Uh, it makes the most sense to have it kind of here. And it will, it will be interesting to see how it all shapes up. Though, 
you know, again, after four towns and maybe after we get some some goods moving about, that could change. Um, so we got plenty of room by the pass kind of section uh, on the section closest to us where the trains will be running. And then all this new kind of white gravel track, that's all um, actual um, yard rails. And yard rails have a very slow um, speed limit of like 15 miles per hour so it's not really you know used for anything but holding cars moving things for maintenance um, i am kind of weaving some odd connections here and there through this area just to give some connection points throughout there um, and we will end up probably filling this section with a fair amount of um, vehicles that are just there for aesthetic um, we're not going to do that this episode i don't think um, I kind of want to wait until maybe the town is grown up here a little bit just to see kind of how that fills in the space before I worry about too much detail through here. But I will um, add some storage buildings. I want to add some cranes um, onto the cargo yard here. Um, cranes might not make so much sense when it comes to a, a train yard, in my opinion. Uh, I think they use mostly hoppers when it comes to that, um, but I figure cranes would be good if you're trying to load up, say, finished steel beams, which is kind of what's mostly produced here, is steel. Um, and then the drop-off of the iron and coal and maybe iron sand that gets mined and transported here eventually is uh, getting released on the underside of the cars, maybe, and there could be a hopper underneath the rail um, and then conveying that away. I'm not, you know, sure how all of that works. That's just kind of my assumption um, based on this. Though I could put some overhead hoppers um, to kind of feed stuff into it if we find a good piece to do so. In fact, I'm kind of doing that here by editing the some industrial assets to try and get that to span that gap, but uh, nothing really fits. So I'm just gonna expand this a bit here, add some sheds, some warehouses on the opposite side, some small industrial buildings too, in between some of the tracks to act like little switch houses. Um, you know, just make it look pretty interesting. We'll put some dirt down between the rails, put in some gravel here and there, just to kind of tie it up. Now, if this was, you know, City Skylines, I'd be trying to put grass blades, <laughs> like almost individual grass blades in between each of these sections and that'd be a little weird. Um, at this point, uh, I want to try and get some of the commuter rail system that's going to go through the center of the city installed. And we are using one raid station and one station that's integrated at the ground level and I think that'll be good. I don't want to split the city too much with kind of impassable ground level kind of rail. And so that's why we still have some raised section here because I want to be able to get some roads underneath them to kind of pass um, traffic in, in the, the build through this area. Because if you have it all at ground level, you're just going to create a traffic situation that you're not going to want to have by any means of the imagination. Um, a main central avenue is going to be built through this area. Uh, maybe not as big as it needs to be and then we'll just start working on some random offshooting roads here again i, I want to have the random generation do a lot of work at the end of the day but i want to have just a few kind of strong avenues here uh, to get traffic flowing in uh, a few of the main areas and you can see that that one rail crossing is pretty much the only one in that city and it's built into the station itself so it's not going to be too uh, hindering i don't think um, and it, it will also depend on how many trains we have on this because our commuter line is separate from our industrial line hopefully and that means we're going to have less train traffic which is going to hopefully keep the vehicle traffic going at a decent clip here a lot of this road layout i'm honestly not too happy with i'm just trying to get something down to see if anything jumps out at me i do kind of want to go in here and clean some of this up i'm happier with this portion that we can get a little bit more of a grid like pattern but some of this area up here by the highway is a little little not 
it's not, not really well planned out. Um, it's just kind of haphazardly thrown down, so uh, that's something I want to probably want to look into eventually on updating. Um, even some of these avenue layouts probably don't make sense, um, but in general, um, it'll it'll suffice for now um, to get this stuff filled in. I don't know what roads I want to use for this just yet. I definitely want something relatively quick, like 30 mile an hour roadways kind of through here because uh, some of the town roads are like 19 miles an hour and that's just going to be too slow to keep traffic flowing. We'll do a little bit of road work too on the little um, island kind of area, right? I guess it's considered an island if we can't see what the other end is doing. Um, it kind of goes off the map, so it could be an actual island completely but we just don't have enough region view to uh, see what it's what it's all about gonna work in some bus stations here to get some additional passengers over to these train lines and in fact that's probably what we're gonna be doing here at the end of the episode during the live section um, where we kind of build some stuff live and take a look around I want to get some bus lines laid out and I want to get our commuter rail at least started um, initially. So here we go in. We're, I'm going to lock in kind of the main avenues so that the town generation doesn't mess with them too much and some of the main streets, but everything else is kind of going to be unlocked to allow for kind of an interesting feel. This town might be temporary. I don't know. I'm just trying, trying to see how it generates some of these towns in these areas, almost as marquees to uh, kind of mess with it a little bit and see what it uses to kind of anchor onto so that I can then build hopefully something that'll generate a little bit better. You can see this one's generating at a weird angle. And if you put a road down first and then put the city right on that road, it's gonna keep the orientation of that road as true. And we'll generally build a grid system based off those two angles. And you'll get something uh, pretty nice looking, I would say. Yeah, but I end up deleting this one anyways at some point. I uh, don't know when in this speed build that'll happen. So from here, I'm gonna get the first transportation underway, okay? So this is one of the new materials. This is like a oily sand, and this needs to go to the refinery, the fuel refinery, to make um, fuel. <laughs> no other way to say it, right? So we need to get a line here, um, and this is going to be uh, oil sand to train. And then we need to make a train line from uh, the annex up to the main depot. And this is gonna be oil sand to refinery. And I'm gonna color both of these lines red. I think I'm gonna try and keep my lines color coded um, and clean this time around so that the red line going forward is just the whole oil sand route. All right, I can see it picking up oil, uh, the, the sand here and hopefully taking that to its final destination. And even the fuel, so um, refinery to the industrial areas in the town, we're gonna paint those red too. Um, so that way we can see that whole network, that red spider work, kind of um, spider web forming throughout so that we can just easily see what each uh, resource is doing throughout the, the build. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get a double engine diesel train. I'm going to do diesel for all of our freight. I think that'll be pretty cool, like an early diesel engine. Um, we're using some boxcars now to deliver sand to this, and that's being picked up and sent on its way. So I think that's a pretty successful little speed build so far. Let's hop into um, some real time, take a look around, and also get some more lines set up, maybe some, some passenger lines. So let's do that. All right, here we are. Uh, we got the trucks running, as I said, delivering plenty of this oily sand to Winsfield Freight here. And that's taking it up over to, what's this called? Just Winsfield? Little little interesting everything's called Winsfield probably because there wasn't a town yet over here I think I'm gonna delete this one at the end of the day um, trains coming in now looking pretty good now this cargo yard is super long um, and I didn't think about that too much 
Um, I, I kind of limited myself to only 200 length um, because if we come over here, this yard is only 200 in length. So really I should have backed off on the length on this one, but uh, that's fine. That's fine. Maybe, maybe we can th keep that in mind going forward. So we are producing uh, fuel and what seems to be sand. I don't know what the sand is for, but maybe we'll find out at some point. Um, here you can see the actual industries required here. So you can see goods, food, brick, fuel, machinery parts, tools, everything is kind of being required at this point. Um, which is good. That's that's what I want. I want a really interesting challenge for this whole series. Um, I reworked the train line, the commuter line. I originally, it went kind of over this interstate and across this one, but I didn't like that um, because it really limited where my community stations would be uh, in there. So I kind of wrapped it around the hill and over in almost parallel with the freight line and I, and I think what that did is kind of shored up this hillside and makes it look really cool. It's, it's just like triple stacked kind of curve now. Um, oh wow, we actually have vehicles on the interstate going between towns now. Um, so that's pretty cool to see them cruising along. How fast are they going? Probably not super fast right now. The 90s, these cars apparently couldn't go faster than, eight, you know, 60 miles an hour. All right, here we go. Let's get some bus lines down. That's kind of what I wanted. So I wanted to get Winsfield bus lines installed here. Um, the two main loops that's going to feed both of the stops. And then we'll get the commuter train started. Uh, and we'll kind of go from there. So let's do... Um, so commuter, it looks to be like teal or this light blue. So we're going to do, um, I need to put down some bus stops first, don't I? Buildings. Bus stop. Kind of era. What's that for a bus stop? That looks pretty good. How about this one? Hmm. Kind of like this medium bus stop. All right, so we have that. <clears throat> We're gonna come across here, roughly in the middle. Everything is gonna be a right-handed kind of lane here. Plenty of stops on this loop so that people don't have to walk very far. That looks good. So this is, let's see, it's gonna start there. It's gonna go here. And then down in this area and we might end up having to do a couple lines kind of inner city that this one kind of hooks on to like for example we could do another loop um, kind of going up this street and then uh, um, like kind of zigzag up this maybe so boom 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 kind of connects this way and if we can get another loop in here um, that will share some stops with the yellow line so that things can change. Um, even though I'm about to change the color yellow line here. Let's just change that to there. Alright, and we can call this um, Winsfield North Loop. Alright. That's pretty cool. Alright, and now this one get some bus stations as well. So the bus will kind of come out here. It'll kind of stop 
this way a bit. This one's probably going to be a smaller loop. Kind of interesting that it's defaulting the line to yellow. Uh, I don't understand that maneuver <laughs> that it's doing there. But all right, that's fine. All right, so color this blue. And we will call this wind field east loop. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. So uh, I kind of want the number of stops divided by two. Uh, to be like the amount of vehicle count. That's just an arbitrary choice. It, it could change depending on demand. Um, so we'll get three buses here on the north loop and also three buses on the other loop. Uh, passenger. And I did download a Volvo 5000 West Midlands travel set for this. Uh, it goes up to 62 miles an hour. It's diesel. I'm gonna make them yellow because why not? And we are going to buy, I think, six total. Okay, this first one, east, north. Let them kind of clear a little bit because I want to space these out. East, north. Very interesting. We do have a major train there, but. All right, so all of the buses are, are free to go now. So that'll start that. So we got these two loops kind of hooked up. This guy, I don't think I'm gonna hook up any bus stations to just yet. Um, because again, I, I kind of want to redo this layout. You can see I'm getting to some really weird roads generated here. So we're going we're gonna to have to mess with that. But I do want to at least get a commuter line going, right? So let's buy a vehicle. Uh, it's going to be multiple units electric. This RE450 commuter train, I think, is going to be our best bet. And I'm going to color it the line color. It's kind of light blue. Or maybe kind of a dark blue. Uh, I don't know now. Purple? No. It's dark blue? No. Ah, we'll do that. All right. Let's just add that there. So yeah, it's just, it's just gonna be this. I don't I don't need a longer train. I don't think because this capacity is already four hundred and forty four. And we'll get that on the commuter line. And we'll see what that does. Beep, beep. So it's a double stacked train. If you guys have any suggestions for a train skin or a mod, definitely let me know. I'm not well versed in my train knowledge. But I think this thing will suffice to serve like multiple towns like this, kind of going through. It's compact, not very long. Should keep a good speed. Um, let's make sure it meets the station length requirement. It does. It does, that's good. We're gonna have to add barriers and stuff, I think. On this. I don't like the hill without like some rocks and barriers. 
for it to make some sense. Wow, first trains running this episode? First trucks? First buses? We are on a roll when it comes to that stuff right now. No one waiting, waiting here yet? Nope, not yet. Just want to watch this thing go. I think currently I only have one side of the line hooked up. And that's a problem. So if I go to commuter line. It's going here. To West Branch. It doesn't know how to turn around because I think for some reason I have removed this. So that should fix that. Just make sure to get some one-way signals to make sure. All right, that's good. So it ends at Winsfield East Station. And what I need to do is actually add this so it will stop on both sides. There we go. Can't wait till we get traffic going this way. We get trains going over the road. It's gonna be pretty cool. See all of this hooked up. I mean, look at look at that industrial yard. be interesting to see how many people start using the system eventually once all the town kind of grows up a little bit we do have some people waiting here the loops not much our buses by the way um, all of our passenger vehicles are modded to carry their actual true capacity so we might be able to get away with less buses um, and just have them chill like that I don't think those buses are going to do anything, but cool. All right, we got some movement now. And next episode, what I want to do is go in here. I'm going to try and rehash this town up a little bit and probably rename it. Um, and maybe change some of this road layout. I just don't like the way it turned out. Um, so after doing all that, what I might try and do there is... I guess get the next town, which is kind of going to be right here on this side of the river. Um, and then this town too. You can see I have the ex exit built already. So a lot of construction to do before things really can be hooked up. But uh, we have some movement. We have some. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you all enjoyed the episode, feel free to subscribe. For more creative goodness such as this, hit that like button. Leave a comment down below on what you want to see in our city. And we'll see you all in the next video.